Summer is here. It's the time for us to head outside, barbecue, spend time with the family. But it's also a time for mosquitoes. Yes, mosquitoes. We all know that mosquitoes like to bite us, but did you know they can also give us West Nile virus? The good news is you can fight the bite and still enjoy your outdoor activities. Just follow three simple steps to protect yourself and your family from mosquito bites and reduce the risk of West Nile virus. Step one, get rid of mosquito friendly areas around your home. Mosquitoes breed in standing water, so look around your home where water can collect, especially after it rains like this hot tub cover. Water can gather in bird baths, flower pots, swimming pool covers, clogged gutters and ease troughs, children's toys, and old tires. Also make sure that mosquitoes can't get into your home. Make sure screens on your home are tight fitting and in good repair. This means there are no holes and they close properly. Step two, cover up while outside. Mosquitoes are most active during dusk, night, and dawn. So try to avoid going outside during these times. But if you do, remember to cover up. Wear protective clothing like this long sleeve shirt and pants. Also wear light colored clothing as mosquitoes are attracted to darker colors. Step three, use insect repellent containing DEET. Check label directions for use and spray on exposed skin and on clothing for ultimate protection. Children under 12 should use insect repellent containing no more than 10% DEET and avoid using insect repellent on children under six months of age. York Region Community and Health Services is helping to reduce mosquito populations. As part of the West Nile Virus Program, we larvicide catch basins and we will continue education, surveillance and case investigation. If you've been bitten by a mosquito, be aware of the signs and symptoms of West Nile Virus. Four out of five people don't show symptoms even though they've been infected. West Nile Virus symptoms may include fever, muscle weakness, stiff neck, confusion, severe headache, and sudden sensitivity to light. Only one in 150 people will develop more severe symptoms, including neurological illness. You can still have an enjoyable summer. Just remember to fight the bite. <laughs>